Hey guys, welcome back to Gigabyte's Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we're going to be showing you the insides of our Gigabyte Bricks Gaming UHD as well as showing you how to install the memory and the storage for this unit. Now if you want to see the unboxing for this unit as well as some of our other motherboards, be sure to check out our official YouTube channel which is youtube.com forward slash gigabyte motherboards. There you'll find the unboxing for our Bricks Gaming UHD as well as some of our other newly released motherboards. So let's break this open and see what the insides look like. Alright DIYers, we got our workspace set up. We have the unit that we're going to take apart to show you the insides of. I was actually able to scrap up some RAM as well as an M.2 to show you exactly how it's installed in the system. Now, all you guys need if you guys are following along is a trusty screwdriver. I have a Gigabyte one with a bunch of assorted uh, bits here for me to use, but we actually only need one for the time being. So let's get started on taking this machine apart. So to start off, you flip the unit over and right at the bottom you can actually see four identically sized screw holes. Now this it's using a Phillips head, uh, they're using Phillips head screws so you just unscrew each of them individually and you'll be on the way. We've actually pre-loosened ours so it's actually very quick for us so we're not wasting any time. Now to remove this backing you actually just take a grip of it and tug at it lightly and the unit should pop right off. Now once we have that backing removed, you can actually see the fan underneath and this is actually the fan that does all the work of pulling that cool air in and pushing the hot air through the system and out through the top. Now we have that rear I.O. that you saw earlier in the unboxing. Now with the rear I.O. to the left palm of our hand and this front part that we've shown you earlier that was facing the camera, you put your right palm and you push against it in opposite directions and you can actually slide, as you see, that silver casing off. So we'll just set the casing aside and with that being done, you can see the system in all its glory. Without the casing, with the heat sink and right at the front here you can see that this is a bay for a 2.5 inch drive. Now, this drive supports SATA 3, which operates at 6 gigabits per second. And you can actually install a 2.5 inch mechanical drive or a 2.5 inch SSD. Uh, depending on what you guys want to do, if you're looking for more density, you can always go with that 2.5 inch mechanical laptop drive as well. So, let's flip this open to show you guys where that GPU sets and that'll be all the screws that we're taking out today. Um, so we've actually shown you four screws to take the whole system apart, the case slides out and right here there's two screws, one at the top here to my right and another in the notch right here under that gigabyte name. So once we loosen these two screws here you'll actually be able to get down into that main board and add and install sodium or memory uh, to your liking and you can actually also install the M.2 and we'll show you in greater detail as we flip this open. Now keep in mind before I've loosened the screws but I haven't taken anything off yet. The next step at this point you can do before or after you remove the screws is to move the SATA cables out of the way. So right here they're taped down so I'm just gonna untape it and you can actually see right here in the corner there's a little bracket that actually holds that cable in place so I'm just going to run around that bracket to get it out of the way and right here it's also locked in through the metal casing and I'm just going to loop that around so it's not blocking me or getting in the way of any hardware so it gets crimped. Now at the same time there's two connectors here with a black ribbon that you can actually remove very easily just by tugging on it and it'll actually pop right off and this is actually for the graphics card so we'll just move that out of the way now. Now even though everything's been removed off this top there's actually still one more cable connected to the unit and I'm going to show you guys right now when I lift it up slightly. You can actually see on the edge right here there's a power cable right here so all we need to do is just stick your finger under it, lift it out and the whole unit will slide off and you can actually see that it rests very easily on metal hinges at the edge. You can actually take the whole unit off if you want or for your convenience you can just rest it on there and install the, uh, your memory and SATA module uh, M.2 
directly onto the main board. So we're going to bring the camera in for a closer look so you guys can get more details about how we do the installation and exactly what to go, what goes where. Alright guys, so we have the unit set up on a tilt so you can get a better look inside on the main board. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to remove the graphics card that, we, that, uh, that was resting on that hinge. And all it takes right now is just this little power adapter on its right side. Once you have that disconnected, all you have to do is lift up and the unit will slide right out off its hinge. So let's put that off to the side right now so you guys get a better view inside the unit. So inside you can actually see this is the main board. And right here we have two DIMM slots for sodium memory. Make sure you're using DDR4 when you're doing your installation or if you're purchasing at the moment online to fill um, one of the Bricks Gaming UHD system. We have two M.2 slots. The right one here actually is only PCIe. And you can, uh, what this means is its PCI Express signal comes straight from the CPU. The left one here has both both um, PCIe as well as a SATA signal. So you can actually use this left one here to RAID with the two 2.5 inch drives that you have in the front um, on the outside casing of the Bricks Gaming UHD. So to start off, let's start off with the memory modules. Now again, make sure you're using DDR4 modules um, and before you install and force the unit in, make sure that the notches line up with the notches inside the unit as well. Once you're sure it lines up, press it in and then press down firmly. You'll hear locking uh, the locking mechanism hold the module down. So right there you can see that it's held down now. And we'll do it again for the second unit. Again, notches align. Make sure it goes in all the way at the angle and then press down firmly and the modules will be locked down. So now that we have our memory installed, let's jump over to the M.2. Now because we're only installing one M.2 module, we're going to install it into the one that has both the SATA signal as well as the PCI Express signal. Now these modules are 22 by 80, so they're 22 uh, millimeters in width, 22 millimeters in width, as well as 80 millimeters in length. So right here we're going to take away that screw that's actually holding it in and that will hold it in in a few minutes. So once we have that screw out of the way, Let's lift that M.2 module. Again, make sure your notches line up with the notches on the main board. And we're going to come in at an angle again. And once we have it at that angle, we're going to press down. So it goes all the way in. And we're going to press down firmly here. And you can actually see that the M.2 has actually aligned with the hole right there. So I'm still able to screw in and lock down that M.2 module. So let me get that in place. And right here we have our M.2 locked in and we're ready to go. So let me place the graphics card back on the rail. And remember, you have to connect that power adapter for it. So I'm going to do that as well. And we're going to show you where the two SATA drives go. That way, that way if, in case you want to raid your system or if you want to just install SATA drives, two SATA drives, you can do that as well. So remember, when you're putting this graphics card back in, to actually connect that power adapter that we removed earlier. So I'm going to do so right now and connect all the pieces so we actually have that power connected back to the unit. And again, when you're doing this as well, make sure you connect these connectors because these are the ones that will power and get data from your graphics card. All you have to do is align the brackets and press down firmly and they should pop right in. So right here, align it and press firmly and it's locked in, okay? And for the SATA bay, uh, for the two 2.5 inch bays, when we took the unit apart, you saw one in the front here. The second one actually resides right here and you can actually see that there's two screw holes. Uh, one right here on the right and another on the left. And we're just going to take that right out so you can see how it connects into the bay. So very easily. We're going to take one screw hole, screw out, and overall for the system, if we weren't going to install this SATA, uh, this SATA drive, we actually only removed six screws. So keep that in mind. We try to keep a minimal amount of screws. And right here, once we lift that out, you can see that second drive bay. 
one of the connectors just loops around, connects to this bay after you have the drive in, and you can slot it back in. And make sure that everything's resting in place. I didn't install it because we didn't have a drive, and we're just going to connect all the cables back to where they should be. And with the memory and the M.2 installed, we're ready to game and install our OS on the system and do whatever we want with it. All right, guys, so that wraps it up on this DIY to show you guys how to install the memory as well as the storage, whether you're using M.2 or 2.5 inch drive. If you guys have any other questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. If you like the video and you want to see more, be sure to like the video and always subscribe to our official Gigabyte YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. Now, if you guys want to hear about any other contests, you can check on our Facebook page or officialgigabyte.com website for more information. Again, my name's Leon Chen, and we'll see you next time on YouTube.